hello everyone welcome back to ts info youtube channel and in this video tutorial i will explain you how to use multiple switch cases in power automate so let me explain you this switch case flow action i notepad to explain this switch case because it was little bit con switch case is a power automate flow action where it functionality is it it finds a match for the switch input value and if that switch input value matches then uh, then that following or that switch case will be executed we'll search for first case which means if we have included the switch input value if that value is equals to case 1 then the actions provided in case 1 will execute if that value if the switch input value is not matching in the case one then then it will check if that value is matching for the case two if it is matching then it will execute or else it will check for the case three so like this of cases and it will execute if all the cases are not matching then it will execute the default case so i will show you this example practically uh, for that i will connect one of my sharepoint list to the power automate first take i have different type of columns here you can see and i will take multiple switch cases for the for this budget list to perform the action let me go to the power automate home page open your power automate home page if you are already logged in with your microsoft credentials you can type make.powerautomate.com in the browser so that it will automatically navigate to the power automate home page so let me create a flow here click on create and create automated cloud give the flow like select a trigger from here uh, i was selecting when an item is created or modified then click on create and toggle the option of new designer to come back to the classic designer version and select here the site address and the list name here select i was selecting the list which i have shown you previously and that is the budget list and take the switch case flow action switch control and we can see here it has added switch control to the flow studio and we have to impose switch on a particular column and if that for that particular column if the switch case value is equals then it will execute an action if it is not then it will perform the another switch case so let me show you the switch cases that i will implement now like these are the cases that i will implement in switch cases uh, and i will impose switch input on but if the given value is sur surplus budget then it will go to the case one and it, the flow action will implement and for the case two if it is balanced budget and this flow action will implement and for the budget type deficient budget it's for the case three and this flow action will implement and for default budget for other budget types this is the flow action will implement budget type value budget type value and here i will give us in case one surplus budget and i will create case 2 and i will take balanced budget here and copy and paste and click on case plus icon to add case 3 so deficient budget if the three cases are not matching then this default case will execute so in case one i will be adding the flow action so i will add a condition here
take and take from the dynamic content i will take the condition here as used amount is greater than budget amount see here used amount is greater than budget amount if used amount is greater than budget amount then i will be adding an action so here i have given the condition of if used amount is greater than the budget amount then it will send an email to the budget approver as that budget amount is sufficient or not sufficient then it will notify to the budget approver in case two i will add the condition control like same if used amount is greater than budget amount see now i have uh, i have build the flow already because it will save the time and i will explain you the flow now uh, like if the used amount is greater than the budget amount then it will send an email to the budget approver for the surplus budget type in the case 2 it will execute if the balanced budget for the balanced budget if used amount is greater than budget amount then it will send an email to the budget approver about exceeding of the budget amount for that particular year and in case 3 that budget and if used amount is greater than or equal to budget amount then again it will notify to the budget approver about the exceeding amount of the budget amount for that deficit budget if all the three cases won't match then it will execute the default case which it will notify the budget approver about all the details of budget that is budget purpose and the budget amount and everything it will notify so let me test the flow click manually and click on test so now let me go back to the sharepoint list and i will add an item in this budget list and i will take gold loan here and budget type as balanced budget type i will take as balanced budget and budget amount i will take as 5000 used amount i will take it as 10000 budget approver did the review now the flow ran successfully from this example you can see surplus but the switch input value is not surplus budget so it is not executed it is the balanced budget so the case 2 is executed in this case and i will show you the mail this is the mail which we will get because that flow action is executed this is how to use switch cases in power automate And for more free video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power BI, like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell icon of our YouTube channel. Thank you. See you in the next video.